All right, everyone. Today, it's finally the day. Something I've been hyping up for quite some time, yet we always seem to fall a little bit short. But finally, things have fallen into place. I mean, look at this base behind me. Yeah, a little bit's happened here since, uh, well, since, you, well, since yesterday since last video uh yeah i went and built a ceiling on my base i've actually got a ceiling uh and some walls yeah what do you think uh this is obviously all work in progress uh, i'm doing something a little different i'm really testing my creativity on this one here but i am trying to still keep it nice and open i don't want to like close it all off with walls because then i feel all like trapped and claustrophobic uh so what do you think let me know i'm really really intrigued to to well, I hear from you guys on what you think of the design. Obviously, yeah, it's got a long ways to go, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. But today, I'm finally going to be doing it. We are going to be evolving our very first infernal dinosaur. And who better to evolve than my big fella down here, our Prime Indominus Rex. I really hope the final result of the evolution is good because I'm going to cry if it isn't. But um, we finally got everything that we need to make it happen. Thanks to this guy. It was expensive to tame up, but we finally got him. I kind of want more of them, to be honest with you, because every couple minutes or so, I can I, I can do this. And we just extract 20 prime blood, and that's that. Uh, and thanks to doing that, while I go ahead and build all of this base up, um, I now have a collection of... Of... How much blood have I got? We got a lot of it. 389. So that's pretty good. It's a good amount. Um, it should actually be enough finally to get this infernal potion. So you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> We're still missing seven dino hearts, but that's okay. That's all right. Because now that we have this thing here crafted up, we can craft them up now, right? Oh, we need the raw prime fish meat. All right, fine. That's okay. All right, well, that's cool. We get to go for one last little sting around the map to collect some raw prime fish meat. Thankfully, my Indominus Rex here loves a good old swim. Probably not the most ideal dude to take out for it, but all I gotta do is find a couple sharks. I don't actually, oh my goodness, my guy can swim or a Dunkleosaurus. That'll, that'll also work, I'm sure, I think. Um, I killed it, but I didn't, nope. We just, we just get raw prime fish meat for that. Um, okay. When did my Indominus Rex decide he likes to... S okay, now he likes to fly. He likes to fly. We're just gliding across the sky right now. Um, oh, oh, make a lid on. Okay, sorry. I just caught wind of the jellyfish. I don't like them jellyfish. But in good news, it looks like I'm not getting dismounted by it. So that's nice. Uh, look, I just need 700 raw prime fish meat. Is that too much to ask for? Unfortunately, it looks like it might be. Because I can't sit still in the water here. And it just keeps wanting to like fling me around. Um, I just want to sit still. You know what? Just sit on this little island here. Raw fish meat? No, no, no. I want the prime. I need the prime stuff. Uh, this is a prime shark, isn't it? You're, you're just a little bit too... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think he's beneath me. I don't know. I can't see anything. My guy's just way too big. Um, but I didn't get any raw prime fish meat. Okily dokily. That's not ideal. Um, how about you, little dude? I'm just gonna attack it. And me in my no armor. I'm really in danger here if like there's absolutely anything predatorial. Just want to get down here real quick. And I'm going to hit it with my pickaxe. Hey, 99. Okay, I was kind of... Dude, oh, I'm going to drown down here. That bag that it just dropped though. Uh, three dino deer. Uh, you know what? Actually, I just remember dino deer DNA isn't that good for us anymore. We don't need it. It's fine. Uh, but in all seriousness, though, why am I not harvesting? Like, why did, why, why did my guy here not harvest the raw prime meats and stuff? Uh, not to mention, where is all the sea life? Because I'm not really seeing much out here. Unless there's like an, uh, an ocean hiding somewhere on this map. Um, dude, my dude just wants an evolution. Okay, hold on. I see something over here. Uh, what is that? An Indominus shark? What? Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, that's intriguing. Uh, I don't actually know where it is. I can't see it, but there is an Indominus shark down here somewhere. Um, I kind of want to get a look at it. But I don't know where it is. Where did it go? It's not dead, is it? Indominus shark? He, he, oh, it's dead. Oh, dang. All right, I might have killed it. Uh, that's cool. I'm going to try and harvest it. And this time around, I'm just going to use my... Indominus Rex to do it. 
which was a bad idea because all that did was give me regular brawl. What is going on? Okay. I guess my dude here doesn't like to collect raw prime fish meat. And also just doesn't... Okay, just wants to glide around the map. Just wants to fly everywhere. He's just impatient, I guess. I don't know. All right. Come on. There's a shark right here. He's just ready to get eaten alive. All I got to do is give him a nibble. Like once or twice. Once and twice. He's dead. I think. No, he's not. He's still alive. That's got a million health. All right. Come on. Come on. This is meant to be like a tiny little adventure. Nothing to... Oh, my goodness. I'm get... like this. This guy's flying across the map yet again. All right. No. Turn back around. Oh. Okay, now I'm flying. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Here he is. Fight. 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 Oh, hello. Um, don't you harvest that, please, because I wanted to do that. But I mean, that's cool and all. But as soon as I hop off to do this, he's going to turn around and try and fight me, right? Sure is. Um, okay, that's less than ideal. It didn't give me what I wanted. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, it gave me a lot of prime meat, but for some reason, <laughs> not the prime fish meat that I asked for. All right, you better hook me up then, buddy. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad. All right, back to using the pickaxe. Oh, snap. Ghost Megalodon. What? Okay, then. Sure. No, you harvested it. You pile of trash. All right, I'm going to sneak attack you. Um, it's dead. And I just harvested it again. Oh my goodness. I'm getting everything I don't want. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, fine. Let's make one last ditch effort. Oh, here we go. Deep ocean. But if I... I just remembered I don't have any armor or scuba gear. This is not safe. Um, but I just need to find a Megalodon. Or a, a, a Mosasaur. A Mosasaur would be sick right about now. Just anything. I don't even care. I'm not picky. Aha. I see you. Okay, that'll do. Please. 57, 124, okay. Better. You know what, though? It would have been quicker. It would have been much quicker for me to just swim around, do a quick little killing spree, collect some seven hearts, and we'd be done. And you know what? I might actually do that for the time being. That way I can get this guy evolved, and then we can truly do some slaying. Lo and behold, we have all the hearts we need just like that. Should have just done that from the start, but I'm an absolute dummy, I suppose. Here we are trying to make things easy for ourselves, and we just make things harder for ourselves. All right, back to base we go. It is time. It is officially time. There is no more distractions. There is nothing that is now going to get in my way. We are about to obtain ourselves the infernal Indominus Rex. As soon as I head up to my base, I run on over here. I throw these remaining hearts into here type in a few letters drag the rest of the items i need across double tap this item and we have at last the infernal potion ready to unleash on uh well my dude so let's do this thing wait hold on hold on real quick let me quickly go and grab a sneaky 20 more prime blood because why not and let's go all right my dude, it's time. Come over here. Let me get you front and center. I mean, I'd, I'd like to wait for some nicer weather, but it doesn't matter. Let me take this off of you because we're going to lose absolutely all of this stuff when the evolution goes down. Um, what else do I need here? I don't know. I don't think there's much value in any of this. Maybe a little bit of prime meat because that seems to be quite valuable. All right. Oh, wait. I actually need to mount you while I do this. So here we go. Um, you know what? Oh, I did not want to do that. Well, that's a mess of an inventory. Um, all right. One second. Well, the ground's going to be a little messier than I would liked, but that is fine. Here you go with the Infernal Potion. I think... Actually, no, I do need to dismount you. I'm going to hop down here on the floor. Run over here to your toes. Hold down E and... Nope, I guess not. I have to mount you and press X, don't I? 
Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> oh, that was so quick. <laughs> but there it is. The Infernal Indominus Rex. Oh my goodness. Level 1,245. <gasps> I forgot to take the saddle off you, didn't I? What an absolute dumb dummy. Um, but that's cool. That's cool. He's still big too. 1.6X. He's a big old fella. Um, here, have your piece of armor back. I gotta go and get you a saddle and then I gotta go and get you some levels. We gotta go and find out how strong this thing is because my hopes are that i can take this thing out for some boss laying soon and uh yeah just just slay some bosses really so let me quickly get myself an indominus rex saddle just an ordinary indominus rex saddle um let me also go and grab i guess some experience potions just to give us a nice little head start unfortunately oh and by the way health potions i um i went finally got those sorted there as well um which i can do something pretty special with have a look at this um hell no no xp i have to type in no not xp uh potions oh my goodness i'm hitting all sorts of wrong buttons here potions oh my goodness <laughs> there we go uh long story short these are the ones that i've crafted up they're the ones where we turned these which heal 50 percent of your max health to 75 percent but then i can go and turn these into these which then doubles it again and basically maxes us out uh there's no cooldown you get five every time you craft one so i think it's pretty given that we got to do it we now have ourselves a uh, ridiculous wow wow that's a lot more than i expected uh we have a pretty set for health potions for a while i think that's gonna keep us going for, if i run out of those i'll be shocked uh but we're good all right nice okay i think we're definitely ready to fight some bosses soon then so my dude here your goal take this saddle you currently have 5.8 million health that's nice um now let's see what you can do i suppose i want to start by just seeing like its default damage okay we're still skating across the sky there we go just bend it around here Get stuck in the water i don't even know all right so that's our base damage um it's it's is that good i don't know uh i'm assuming i still i'm under ground my head's under ground i don't know what i'm doing right now uh the dude's burning up though Woo! okay so i do like a fire attack infernal flame nice uh i don't it doesn't seem that i do like a bleed out anymore though i can still go camouflage and then what sort of damage am i dealing with my camo attack Mm, that was nothing remarkable <laughs> uh but that's cool that's cool that's cool we're gonna sort this out in just a second let me just kill this rex oh get stuffed be serious no that's not what we need next to our base not an armored spino dude um okay every time i've ever gone near one of those i've died so i'm kind of terrified right now i could tame that I don't know if I could do torpor to it though. All right, uh, we got 93 levels already. I don't even think if I, I don't know, I don't even know if it's worth using my experience potions, but we'll, we'll put the little weak ones in here. Uh, let's get this guy some health because with this armored spino now next to my base, uh, we need to be prepared to take the thing down because if it comes anywhere near my base and drops its raw, it's going to kill everything. It will honestly annihilate my entire base. It's killed me from a very long distance away and we don't want that. Uh, I'm also going to crank a bunch of levels into melee damage for obvious reasons. I like to deal damage and that is uh, going to be a good starting point. So, uh, all right. I'm going to ignore old Armored Spino for a second. We're going to head this direction. I'm just slightly terrified. I'm also going to drop a health potion. which is going to max my guy out. Fantastic. And we are now dealing 150,000 damage. Not bad at all. All right. All right, all right, all right. This Diplo has been laying a lot of eggs around here. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, all right. This guy's hitting all right. Nothing remarkable just yet, but, but pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I shouldn't have attacked this beaver or whatever this thing is, an otter. But here we are nonetheless. Um, okay. Otter. These otters are so darn strong for an otter. It's, it's nuts. I don't know why I keep attacking them. It's mostly accidental, but they're just pests. All right. Be gone, little dude. Be gone. And that's why we don't fight the otters. They freeze us. Well, while that's all happening, I think I should drop a huge experience potion, which I'm pretty sure gives me a nice experience buff as well, I think. Um, hey, but little dude, you may as well die while I'm here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's kill some things. 
Let's just go on an absolute killing spree. Also, tear down this forest. And we're going to see what might spawn in from our, uh, from our, our slaying. Because that's basically the easiest way to get bosses to spawn in. Just kill a bunch of stuff and eventually nice things, exciting things, ridiculous things happen. As evidenced by the armored spino that decided to spawn in next to my base. Um, what's this little dude? A Zomdodo. Oh, ooh, actually, Zomdodos, uh, they're fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it down this little Zomdodo. These guys here spawn in resurrected dinosaurs. And resurrected dinosaurs from the top of my head have a 10% chance at... Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, resurrected Dodo Wyvern. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't know the difference between resurrected Dodo Wyvern or a regular Wyvern, but still, um, this guy just keeps shrinking. What in the world is going on with him? Oh, he got me. What? Uh, maybe I should start wearing armor again. Because uh, I just got deaded. I did check my health as he hit me with the poison blast, thinking, I wonder if that's going to kill me the way it normally does with a wyvern. Um, it didn't. The lightning blast, on the other hand. Wow. I was not expecting that. Thankfully, though, we're not far from home. I can just come on over here. I'm going to keep my distance for obvious reasons. Um, but I do want my dude to finish it off if he can, which he should be able to. Yeah, I'm obviously going to... I'm, I'm, I'm staying away. Um, I do need to get my stuff back, though. All right, dude. Are we fighting or what? You're just going to sit there and do not not a lot. Seriously, though. This little dodo weapon, dude. Look at him. He shrinks. He's legitimately shrinking. You seen this? I don't want to get too close to it. Um, my, my Indominus Rex is doing absolutely nothing right this second as well. All right. Am I, would, it be, would it be silly of me to try and sneak down there and grab my stuff? It kind of looks like I might have a window to do it. It might also be just a terrible idea. No! Oh. Well, I don't have a choice now. Because my... No, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Actually, I think my Tyranodon might be distracting it, but I am I am now, again, in harm's way. And if my Tyranodon dies, I have no way back. Um. Okay, dude, dude. Not good, not good. Not. I'm not even there. I'm about to lose my only... No! That's what I didn't want to happen. Oh my goodness, that is actually really bad. Really bad, really bad. Okay, now I gotta be careful because I have no backup plans. That was my last remaining flyer. Like, good flyer, that is. Um, have I done it? I think it's dead. I think it's dead. It didn't summon a boss. Not that I can see, at least. All right. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Now let's let me get my stuff. Oh, I can't believe it. I have lost so many teams this week. It's... Terrible. Oh, I have, that one could have been avoided if I was just wearing armor too. That's the that's the silly thing right here. All right, time to put the armor back on. I've even been getting it through drops today, and I've just I, like I literally unloaded a whole pile of it onto the floor earlier, like an absolute dummy. But that's uh, that's who I am. That's what I am. What do you do? All right, that'll do for now. Okay, so I did just see something of interest. I saw this rock yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? That we fought ourselves the Bacon Overlord. Something I didn't tell you was that the Bacon Overlord actually ended up summoning in a boss form um, after that. Uh, like, I, I, I saw it afterwards when I was building. It was over here in the water. Um, and we were lucky it spawned far from base because this thing had 500 million health. It has since despawned, unfortunately. Uh, or fortunately, maybe. But dang it, I wish I could have shown you that because it was pretty remarkable. Now, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for any other rocks that might have just spawned in. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. So, let's grab this loot here because this stuff is all super valuable to me, I think. Um, and let's keep slaying. Let's keep slaying. Let's see what we can get over here. Um, I'm frozen. I'm stunned. That's not ideal, but what are you going to do? Come on, buddy. Get out of here. Do you see that there? Right in the middle of what was a forest before I went and tore it down. That, I just wasted one of my, my health potions. But that is an elemental poison indominus rex. A very small one. A very baby one. Unfortunately. Oh, hold on a second. I believe that works. Uh, I don't think this thing is going to work amazingly. And knock out like super strong creatures. I just thought it was interesting that it appeared just now. Uh, I've been like tearing down this place. 
been absolutely slayed everything um hoping that something nice would spawn in and just getting a bunch of experience along the way too uh unfortunately the answer is no nothing interesting spawned in we had a few rocket golems which is what these two rocks here are doing here but nothing seemed to come after i killed them um but ultimately yes all we have is a lot less forests and 55 levels 89 levels sorry all right so i'm gonna start dropping these in um i think we go straight to a good i don't know 15 million maybe maybe 15 million would be like a nice amount of health and then i'm gonna check the rest into damage and we're gonna see how that fares now something i have realized uh is it seems as though my sneak attack this one here just okay never mind it does work wow 100 <laughs> 1.7 million uh and it takes 15 seconds for the attack to recharge interesting all right that's cool that's cool sorry i didn't think it was working no it definitely does work uh very very well at that oh my goodness so that's nice that is very nice well i guess it's time to find out then how does our infernal indominus rex stack up against that thing that thing that has killed a whole bunch of actually no i'm not going anywhere near that that'd be a terrible idea now that i think about it i'm pretty sure that thing would kill me off the back of my team because that's what's happened to me in the past um but hey i'm not feeling smart today so i'm just gonna go ahead and attack it and we're gonna see what happens However, I'm going to go in stealth mode just to try and sneak a nice sneaky bite in before we do anything. So three, two, one. Oh, yes. Get ragged. Don't roar. Don't roar. Don't roar. Don't roar. Gotcha, baby. <laughs> in style as well. Get wrecked. Now, did anything interesting spawn in on top of it? I don't think so. Uh, but man, that feels good to take one of those guys down finally. I wish there was something to gain out of it but no unfortunately there is not it was just a simple kill that absolutely nothing came from um but doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter got the kill and i'm now a happy little person well this is a shame for some reason my infernal indominus rex doesn't activate the gates to our base uh so we kind of got to like walk around them so that's that that's a little disappointing but there's not much we can do there the question now becomes though do we go and take this guy to fight something superior we couldn't get one to spawn in randomly so does that mean it is time instead to summon one in on our own i have the means to do it i'm pretty sure i've got everything i need to make it happen the question is who's it gonna be let's have a look in here hey so we, our options are basically i still wanted to fight the bionic giga i saw it in the wild one time would love to kill it but uh, ultimately, I think it's going to be a mystical. Maybe the mammoth? The rhino was a pain in the backside when that thing appeared. We've seen the wyvern before. What's something I could just maybe like breeze through? Dino hearts. Are you serious? I know I've got a bunch of them because I've just slayed a million things. So I can go and grab all of these things. I can pick you up and bring you with me because we're not going to do this inside the base. I'm going to quickly drop a lot of my inventory because it's full of a lot of things. And we are going to go and do this thing. And since we've gone ahead and pretty much cleared ourselves out a nice little arena over here, we may as well just do it right here outside our base. It might be a bad idea, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right. Heart, metal, artifact, that, that. I don't even know what we actually need, but those are the things in my inventory. Now we just need to decide who it's going to be. And I'm thinking, let's keep it nice and simple with a mammoth. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. The mystical mammoth fight battle. The first of its kind is about to go down. I just don't know how long of a wait I've got before this thing appears, but maybe I'll just go cloak mode. That way it just doesn't even see me coming. It just appears and I just rip 2 million health straight off it before it even knows what's going down. Also, I'm kind of hoping this thing gives me like a nice bunch of experience from the kill too. All right, buddy. Now I'm getting impatient. Me and my invisible buddy here. There he is. 182 million. That's not terrible. Um, Sweet. Okay. Sure. Sneak attack, baby. Let's go. 1.5 straight away. And we're in. We're off. Off to the races. Um, Now, can I like lock? We can. Okay. Now the health bar on the left-hand side is not going to be disappearing. It's going to be there the entire time. Um, And I just need to sit here and mash my mouse button um until it dies unless i want to like oh i can click uh oh i keep unclicking bam all right I just get... wait my click didn't do anything 
It just dealt regular damage that time. That's interesting. Um, must be out of combat for four seconds. All right. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. We'll say, dude, you're slowing me down. That's not very nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. Recharging. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Bam. Okay, sneak attack's not working. We're only dealing the regular amount of damage, so it's not worth it. Um, that's fine. That's fine. This guy's barely even putting a dent in me. He is he is hitting me with a buff, though. It says it deals 15% of your total health in damage over time while within range. So basically, I think every 10 seconds, he deals 15% of my total health in damage, uh, which is really a pain in the backside, but... It's fine. It is what it is. I've already dealt over 10 million damage to this thing. I just got to deal another 170. So um, I'm going to go ahead and keep clicking. Yeah. I don't know if I'm happy with my Indominus Rex. I was hoping it'd be a little stronger, but I don't know. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. <laughs>
What are you talking about? The thing had a few minutes. Why is it hard mode? I can't kill this. 45 I'm not sitting here for another 45 minutes spamming my hand. Oh my goodness, my hand is gonna die right this second. But what? Um guys, I think we failed. I don't know what happened. Why is it why is it hard mode? <laughs> what happened? It just changed. It just switched on me. Um Wow. Well look, he doesn't seem overly he doesn't really seem to care that I'm here at this second. Um, but I guess that's that. We failed. We didn't get to kill the mystical. That sucks. Well, look, I knew it was going to be an interesting ending. I didn't know which way it was going to go, but I didn't see it going that way. I am a little heartbroken. Um, but if I've learned anything, it's that we need stronger dinosaurs. And my infernal, amazing, expensive evolution, I guess it didn't really pay off the way I expected it to. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go back to the drawing board and see what I can do to move forward from here. I'll catch you tomorrow in the next one. Nope, we're not doing thumbs ups. We're doing buys for now.